All right then, folks, we've got a problem here. A big, big problem. Okay, I am confused. This is like cement, but there's no hole anywhere. All right then, folks, morning all. It's a day of working by myself today. Um, I've got this roof to do here. It's a lovely place around here. I've got all of this roof to do here. Um, I think it's just this side I'm doing. And then I've got a huge communal area here. So it's this path that runs down. All of this, look how bad this stuff is, folks. Absolutely filthy as normal. I love this time of year, guys. Everything's green, so it always looks really good when done. All through here, all through here. Oh, there's a lot more as well, it spans around. All of this. And then we've got this large shared driveway here as well. I think I'm gonna be doing this tomorrow, but it'll probably be in this video. And there's more around the outside up there as well. So I might get this bit done today. Um, but yeah, first of all, let's start on the roof, let's go. Cool, we're all done on the roof. That was pretty good for considering I was doing that blind. Uh, there's one little bit I can see that I need to touch up, but that's it. So yeah, check it out. Lovely difference, isn't there? Nice and clean now. So Kev's probably gonna buy a side this tomorrow when he gets back. Um, and in the meantime, I'm gonna get started on all this now. All right then, folks, we've got a problem here. A big, big problem. <sighs> check that out. It's not the only one either. Obviously this is all what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, um, but I'm going to start a little bit of it now. Water's, water level is really high there, that's stagnant, stagnant, so that's obviously got a big blockage somewhere as well. Uh, looks similar on that one as well, that one might be okay. Oh god, this is going to make this job really, really difficult. Check this one. That one looks okay. And that one's a muddy mess as well. Okay, I am confused. This is like cement, but there's no hole anywhere. That's a dead end.
What is going on? Right, check that out. I actually can't reach further down anymore, so tomorrow I'm going to bring the gutter vacuum with me and try and suck the rest of that out. I might have to try and get started on some of these drains here as well. So what that thick layer was that I thought was concrete um, or cement, I guess it was sand, guys, and just dirt from probably the last time this was cleaned. So it's obviously such a large area, and if it was bad, they've just washed everything down in the drains and it's just caused all of this mess. Um, they did say, oh, can you be careful with the drainage this time because one of the ladies had a backfill up into her house after the last people pressure washed it. Right, I can't make heads or tails of it. None of them drain. It's like a pipe goes that way and then it bends out and it comes down below so they just, they just don't drain, they like recycle each other um, that's what I don't know I'm not a drain unblocker guys unfortunately I haven't got one of them little camera kits so basically I blasted in there and it just shot out the hole below it so I just don't know where it goes which is weird, it doesn't seem like I don't know how to, if these are connected or anything
We're successful so far. Look how good that looks. Crazy, isn't it? Really lovely difference. Um, yeah, so we've got no blockages so far. So, so far, so good. So I'm just going to do it in small sections like that. I really don't want to risk doing the whole thing and ending up with a massive puddle. So similar to that, I'm going to probably come down to about here next. Stop, wait for the water to all flow out. Let all the mud drain out. Sweep all the mud up. Rinse down and then probably come up to here. I mean, this is going to be the hard part, so it's okay there because it's draining down towards one of the drains that can get open. Um, but with this part, this is just going to drain all the way down to this bad one here. 
and that's up full to the brim and I haven't even put any water in that one at all, none of that is me, so, <laughs> uh, yeah. This one seems to be sustaining still, it's got like a little bit of a, a runoff into it, but it seems okay so far, but to me that looks like it's just gonna overflow. Right, wow. I swear no one works faster than a pressure washing man that thinks he's about to run out of fuel. Um, I've got a little bit more to do around this other side, so I'm actually going to have to shoot off and fuel up again. Um, but yeah, wow, we got it all done guys. We've managed to survive the drains as well. Um, it was just a bit of careful planning really and it has worked out in the end. They are soaking away slowly, so I just had to sort of stop start every now and again. Um, and then it was fine, so yeah. Oh, look at that, lows better. And then obviously this is what it looks like nice and dried out, so the whole drive is going to look like this, which is awesome.
Okay, so I don't know if I've already said the plan, but the plan is because of the bad drainage, I'm not going to put any sodium hypochlorite down on this. When we come back to resand this job in a couple of days, um, as soon as I get a chance, after it's been sanded, I'm going to spray 50 to 1 ratio of biocide on it. So what that's going to do is it's going to kill off any of the moss still left sort of like under the bricks and stuff. And it will help shift the black spot staining over time again. It won't be instant like bleaches, but it will work over time. And it will probably be a bit of a long lasting effect to be honest as well. So, um, right, I forgot about this scaffolding. Do you think we're going to fit? I've got like the bags and everything of muck here. Um, Kev's off sick, you see, so he's been off sick for the past couple of days, so usually this goes in the other van, but he's uh, he's ill, so I'll try and put it in there. Oh no. 